Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates. There's no timing on these. These fell out. They rolled right out. I've got to take them. I believe in things happening like that, so we're just going to see what comes up. Acts. Forces working against you. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. But there's people working against you. Ooh, you ready for this? Marriage. Now, a marriage is a marriage to something that you are committing to for a very, very, very long time, okay? doesn't have to be an actual marriage, but it is a commitment, okay? It's some sort of commitment. It could have to do with marriage. Um, you are climbing the ladder. There is a force that is working against you. You are ascending. Um, you have a higher level of... Uh, spiritual awakening, awakening, enlightenment, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Um, I do see a new commitment here, or a deepening of a bond, a commitment that is deepening. Um, you are climbing the ladder, so let's get one of these. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. No, we got two. Ooh, heaven sent uh, exciting opportunity here, okay? That is a new match. It's a spark. It's a desire. Um, this is exciting. Seven is a number of faith. It is a number from heaven. This is definitely very spiritual, extremely spiritual. Um, this is a match, a spark, uh, ambition, drive, uh, on fire. So you definitely have a match here. Something is lit up. There is heaven. I mean, it's heaven sent. This is definitely exciting. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, what more can I say? Climbing the ladder. You're, I feel like you're going to be in a very, very good place. If you're not already, you should be. There are some forces working against you, but I'm not sure they can touch you. It doesn't look like they can. Um, I feel like you're in a very... Yeah, there's some sort of protection here with that 777. Um, you have a connection to heaven. <laughs> um, new, new spark, new desire, new flame, new match. Some of you may even have a new sexual partner here. Whatever this is, it's a commitment. Committing yourself to something, perhaps. Ooh. <clears throat> let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. I can see that you're protected. I can. So I believe that it is time for you to let go of something. You have a new exciting opportunity here. Uh, whatever this new excitement is, you should definitely commit to it. Um, this is going to aid in your spiritual development. It's going to help you to climb that ladder to success. There will be some forces that are working against you along the way. That's a given, right? That is, no matter where you are, who you are, what you're doing, there's going to be forces that are working against you. And you have the power to just, you know, ignore those forces, to protect yourself from them forces. You are protected from them forces. Um, but there is probably going to be a little bit of hurdles along the way because I think think that you got somebody or energies around you that are definitely, I don't know if they're jealous of you or, uh, I don't know, something like that. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands reversed, King of Cups, 
and seven of wands reversed and the high priestess on the bottom so that makes sense you guys are definitely highly intuitive at this time highly developed you could also be dealing with somebody that is a high priestess if this isn't your energy um, this is somebody that is very gifted very uh, spiritual um, it's just a spiritual individual who takes time to reflect and focus on themselves uh, develop their spirituality, maybe even teach. You may have a gift that you could teach others. Um, or you're dealing with somebody that is very, very gifted. Um, this is somebody that uh, keeps to themselves and, and uh, listens and observes inner knowing as well. I think your intuition has some messages for you. I think that you need to listen to those messages. You need to pay attention to yourself. I feel like you need to listen to yourself. Pay attention to yourself. Um, Seven of Cups, first card out, which is options, choices, illusion. Uh, choose wisely because what you own owns you. I think you're in a place where you're maybe a little bit confused. Maybe you're confused about a commitment you're in. Maybe somebody wants marriage. Maybe you want something more. Maybe you're, maybe, you know, I'm wondering if you need to let go of somebody. I mean, I hate to say this, but that's what I just saw. Um, I'm not sure if you guys, uh, are looking for something a little bit more passionate. You could be in something that, you know, there's not a lot of passion and you have a new passionate opportunity right in front of you, something that is exciting, that really uh, grabs your attention. Because we have torch and that match, which are both lit. So I feel like there's something that is grabbing your attention and I feel like there's something working against you. Maybe it's a commitment that you're already in because you need to let go of something. It says you need to let go. I mean, that let go card came up for a reason. It's not something that you can ignore. And I feel like you've, your gut is telling you, your gut is really, really speaking to you. I think that you're highly developed spiritually. It's, it's clear that you are. I think you have a direct connection to heaven because that seven is a card of faith. And it, for me, you know, I've always thought seven was a number from heaven, right? Anyhow, and the first card out is a seven of cups. And we have the seven of wands here. So you have a lot of seven. So feel free to look up seven, seven, seven. Um, but anyhow, um, Seven of Cups is be careful what you own. What you own owns you. It's also a card of consequences. You have other options, okay? You have another option. And I feel like you are struggling to follow your heart. I feel like you're given to follow your heart. Your heart is, uh, a, you have a really, really, really big heart. And I feel like you're in a very, very, very tough position. And I feel like maybe you're it's time to admit your defeat underneath the king of cups is the seven of wands reversed so that's like admitting defeat stepping down walking away you know i feel you could be dealing with another water sign pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be you could be dealing with somebody that has a really big heart as well but they're not a good match and and you know typically another water sign is a good match but we got the page of wands here in reverse right next to that king of cups and it doesn't have to be a water sign, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Page of Wands reverse is not a good suitor. This could be somebody that um, is pessimistic, that never has anything good to say, that is immature, that loses their focus, that isn't very passionate, you know, that doesn't have a lot of passion. They're not very... They don't really care about their appearance. I'm not saying that they should, but you know, it feels like this person isn't very um, excited about life in some way. But anyhow, um, I feel like you are. Wow, the Seven of Wands reverse is giving up. Somebody's giving up, whether it's you or another person. That is in the future, though. That's admitting defeat, stepping down, turning around, not gonna, not going to fight for this. Um, there's another option here. Uh, I think you've been thinking about this other option quite a bit. You've been weighing the options. You have this desire for for something more. And you may be in a situation where it's just not well suited for you. 
you know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that uh, there's a big competition. You could be dealing with somebody that likes to compete with you a lot. It's a constant competition. And maybe that's the force that is working against you. Your big heart could also be, you know, I hate to say that, but I feel like you have a really, really big heart. And that could be one of the forces that are that is working against you. Four of Cups, discontent, not happy. Okay, that Four of Cups is not happy, uh, ignoring an opportunity for love, wanting more, wanting something more. It's like there's some sort of emotional disappointment here and I can see that you want more or you're the person that you're dealing with wants more. Um, you, you could be dealing with somebody that wants marriage and you're not ready for that. You know, that could be the case as well. With that page of wands reversed, that is a setback. It is bad news. It is uh, not interested with the Four of Cups. Somebody is not interested in, not really interested. They're not really happy in this commitment, whatever it is. Um, there's, It's almost like there's apathy here. You know, it's like, I feel like you have somebody around you that... Um, has big feelings for you. They have a lot of feelings for you and you probably have feelings for them as well. But there's a level of discontent because there's, I'm not sure if there's any attraction here, any physical attraction, you know? It doesn't look like there's a lot of passion or something like that. And I feel like you're in a deep uh, thought, you're in deep thought over whether you want to continue to commit yourself to this or let it go. Um, Emperor. Knight of Swords in the reverse on the bottom. The Emperor is taking charge, taking the lead, making a decision. You need to take charge. You do. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, um, this is the boss, you know, they're the boss. They like to be the boss, you know, they want to be the boss. We have a boss here, you're the boss. You know, it's, and maybe you need to be the boss. Maybe you need to take the take the lead. You need to take the reins. You need to be the boss. You need to step up to the plate. You need to accept some sort of challenge. It feels like you're avoiding challenge, and you need to get ready. Get ready to uh, do what's right for your heart. I feel like this week you're going to be taking a different stance. You're going to be taking a different position. I think that... You need to be uh, making a difficult decision. You may need to admit your defeat because I feel like you're dealing with an individual that I don't know if this person is ignoring you in some way or you're ignoring them. It's like this is just not love, okay? It's not. And I feel like, I feel like there's love there, but it's passionless. There's no passion. There's no attraction to this. So I think that you have another option that you are thinking about and you're thinking about it quite a bit. This could, this other option could be with somebody that is more, um, exciting to you, more attractive to you. Uh, yeah. I think you're dealing with somebody that is boring, put it that way. Two of Wands, making a spur of the moment decision, being at that crossroads. I think you're being told. I think your intuition, your gut, you're receiving some messages. If you take a look at this Two of Wands right here, this is like hearing it. I hear it, but I'm not listening. I think that you are receiving a message that it's time to go, that it's time to expand yourself. The grass is greener over there. You know the grass is greener over there. There's passion over there. There's growth over there. You want to go over there, but it feels like there's something holding you back. And I feel like uh, maybe it's your your heart. You know, you don't want to hurt somebody or something like that. I think that you are going to need to make a decision that is best for everybody involved, even if it means that, you know, somebody gets hurt. And I hate to say that. And I don't mean hurt physically. I mean emotionally. I feel like another seven, another seven. 
Seven of Pentacles, this is relocation. It, is it worth it? Should I invest in this? You know, time's up. There's nothing left here. There's no reason to keep investing in this. I feel like uh, this. it's time. It's time to go. I feel like there's a relocation or it's time to plant your seeds someplace else. I also feel as though there's a big decision that is about to be made. If it's not being made by you because of your big heart, the other person could be making the decision. There is somebody that is taking charge. This is somebody that is a leader. They um, have to do the right thing for everybody involved. They're changing their position. This is like changing of the mind, per se. Um, they've been stagnant long enough. They've been sitting there waiting for things to change. This is definitely about a partnership where there's no passion and there's a need to uh, focus on the future and stop... Uh, moping. I feel like there's a lot of moping. There's a lot of uh, thinking about a passionless situation where there's just no attraction and there's a better option. We have a boss here. It's either a boss or a leader or a ruler or somebody that is very wise and experienced that is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. And somehow you are in this mix, whether you're making the decision or somebody else is. Now this is somebody that I feel like it's a masculine energy that is making a decision. This this masculine is admitting, they are admitting that it's time, it's time to stop uh, putting in effort to this because there's no love here. I mean, where's the love? Because I think that you have a big heart. We have the King of Cups, that is love. And then maybe the person that you're dealing with has a big heart. You know, there's hearts involved here. Yes, there is. But sometimes love just ain't enough right? It ain't. You know, if there's no passion, if there's no desire, if there's no attraction, if there's no growth with the page of wands reverse, is if there's if there's none of that, then hey, I mean, you, those are all things that are needed in a commitment, in a marriage, not just one, okay? You can't, you can't build a strong foundation on one thing. There it has to be, you know, um, a bunch okay there's a there's a bunch of things that play into a commitment and love sometimes just ain't enough so I feel like um, you're gonna be making a decision and if you're not the person that you're, you're thinking about whoever this is about is we have somebody here that is going to be making a decision based it's like a head over heart decision Okay, this is what I have to do because there's there's no reason to uh, stay in this position. There isn't. This isn't. Stepping down. I see stepping down. Stepping down from the uh, position. Somebody is stepping down from a position. And I feel like you're, this, this stepping down is going to move you up, okay? It's going to climb you toward... And it's interesting because that let go card is right next to the ladder. So once you let go, you start to climb the ladder to success. To success. I do think that you're also your... Um, you will get more respect. I see, I see more respect coming to you for uh, owning up. Owning up to whatever this is. I do see a change. I see a decision that is being made to expand uh, and go where the grass is greener because the grass is no longer, it's done. Okay, this is done. This time is up. Okay, there's no reason to invest in a dead end. And that is a dead end. So, um, 777 seven, seven is a number of faith, stepping, stepping forward in faith. Re some of you may be relocating even, you know, this is like a relocation going someplace else. And I think that you've been thinking about it a lot. Should I keep investing in this? Should I keep investing in this? And this could even be job related. It could be job related. But for a lot of you, it does have to do with a partnership. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, there's sadness here, right? There's sadness. There's no growth. There's no passion. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else be, where the ground is fertile. Okay, so I think that this week you are you may get a sudden desire with that match. You know, once that match that that's like a sudden moment. You know, it's like wow, 
You know what I mean? So something could happen suddenly. You know, you, you may make a sudden decision. I think that you have a lot of other options. You have a lot of things to consider. I think that you um, are highly spiritual. You're highly developed. Your intuition has been telling you this and you've been ignoring it. I know that you have. Okay, I know that you have been ignoring it. You've been ignoring your, what your heart wants or you've been ignoring your intuition because of your big heart. You know, if you are with somebody that you are not attracted to and, you know, you just, you know, you've grown feelings for them because of, you know, experiences that you've had with them, you know, that doesn't mean that you should stay there and not have your needs met because... Uh, of experiences just because of memories that you've had I mean it's hard to explain it's gonna be hard I think you're in a tough position I think that you need to take ownership you need to take charge and you know make a tough decision this is definitely a tough decision I feel like some of you are definitely relocating or you may be somebody else may be relocating uh, away from you um, a decision is going to be made, that's for darn sure. Somebody is stepping down, uh, they're giving up, they're admitting their defeat because, uh, for one thing, their intuition is telling them that. Their intuition is telling them that, you know, there's the grass is greener over there, the grass really is greener over there. Um, I think the biggest force working against you, and I hate to say this, is your big heart. You know, you deserve to have it all just like everybody else. So, good luck.